Welcome back to Driving Online Sales. Today I'm going to do another post on Facebook fan pages. And uh, today's post is about how to completely customize your Facebook fan page to be more in line with the brand of your business. But here's a warning, this is very technical and would mostly suit those who have some web design experience. So if you don't know what this stuff means, then just pass on the link of this video or this page to your web designer. So let's get started. Here are the step-by-step -step instructions. First of all, let's go to your fan page. So you need to log into Facebook and then click Ads and Pages down the left-hand column here. taking a little wee while then click on pages then click the link to your fan page that you're editing so I'm going to click on driving online sales um, then search go up to the search box don't worry about that my screen does something funky every time I run a video and search for if BML uh, and you can see it comes up there static FBML but click that and it takes you to their page so once you're at the FBML page then you're gonna click on the add to my page link and then you select the page that you want to uh, edit so I'm gonna add to page there and then you click close and then we're going to go back to uh, to your fan page. So here I am back at my fan page that I'm editing. And what you got to do next? Let's click on Edit Page. Scroll down to until you see the local, sorry, until you see the FBML, um, and then you're going to click Edit, and then up's going to come a box. So what you want to do here, uh, hopefully you've done some keyword research first, and you want to either put the name of your business in here, or you want to put the keyword that you're targeting. And then you're going to put your HTML in the box underneath. And that's what I said before, uh, you, you're going to need to either have some web design experience or pass the link of this page along to your web designer so that they know what to do. And a couple of heads up. First of all, first of all don't use any uh, head or body tags in, in the HTML. And the second thing is the styles that you use are all going to be inline styles. So that all makes sense to a web designer. Okay, so once you've done that, click Save Changes. Then go back to driving uh go back to your uh, fan page, not to my fan page. Go back to edit page again. Go down to the settings for uh, FBML click application settings and make and if you want it in a tab make sure it's got the word added here or you can you can remove it at any time or you can add it I've got it added as a, a permanent tag on mine and I'm removing it from the boxes so it only shows up in the in the tabs now the second thing I want to do is I want to make for me and for my uh, for what I'm doing I want to make it my default landing page. So I go into all settings and I select the page that I've created, which is local business marketing, and I select this as the default landing page. Once you've done that, if you go to your 
if you go and view the page it's not doing it because I'm logged in but if you were to view my page you would see that it comes up with my custom landing page that I've created which looks like this uh, and the other thing that you need to bear in mind is that any images that you have you need to host them on your own website so your HTML is referencing images that are stored not on Facebook but on your own site so hopefully you've got something out of that um, please leave me a comment or any questions if, if you have any and um, this has been another tutorial from driving online sales Thank you.